Scott, parents, school board members, and district staff are irate tonight after Section 6 says the Tigers used an ineligible player during the season. Anger under the Friday night lights of All High Stadium. Parents. And I think that this is not the end of this. Buffalo school board members. If you can't beat our children, and this needs to go on air, if you can't beat our children on the field, the only way you can beat them is, is with paperwork. And district athletic staff. You know, I, I just, I don't agree that the consequence fits the crime, so to speak. And yeah, you, you've penalized the whole football team here, and I, I don't believe it's fair. Before Friday, the Bennett Tigers, who won the Section 6 championship last year, were 4-2 and two on the season. But Tuesday, Section 6 reached out to Buffalo schools asking about a certain player and questioning his eligibility. BPS conducted an investigation and confirmed he was indeed a student, but had transferred from another district. There's another bit of information that BPS and coaches allegedly didn't know. We had no idea that this student had played um, JV football as an eighth grader. Mm -hmm. Again, this isn't a high school student coming to high school. It's a middle school student who played up playing high school ball, then transferred over. So because of that clerical ear, air, uh, Section 6 has deemed that this student was an ineligible player. So Friday, Section 6 wiped their 4-2 and two record. In addition to that, head coach Steve McDuffie was also suspended for Friday's game. On Monday, uh, Buffalo Public Schools will be submitting an appeal to try to take this and hope, hope that it could be overturned. I feel like these children have been cheated. Um, they wait until the seventh of eighth games to say that there was a clerical error. I think that is a disservice to these boys. They earned those wins. Buffalo School Board member Sharon Common passed around petitions that will be submitted to the state and local lawmakers, not mincing her words about feelings towards Section 6 officials. All of their guidelines, for the most part, have been set up some way or another to taint the, uh, the urban school districts, and we're going to be fighting that fight. Why are you so angry and so mean-hearted and spirited that you would do things to children that you would never allow to be done to your own? I've reached out multiple times for Section 6 officials to comment for this story and provide their side of things, but they never called me back. The Buffalo Teachers Federation is also calling for an investigation, an official telling me tonight that this isn't the first time Bennett High has been impacted by Section 6 decisions. By the way, the final score tonight, Bennett beat Niagara Falls 42-14. to 14. Scott?